Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. Hope everybody's doing well. Today we're going to be in, in 1 Samuel chapter 2. We're going to be covering verses 12, 13, and 14 today. And so as I always say, let's just dive right in. The sons of Eli, Hophni, and Phinehas were worthless, dishonorable, unprincipled men. They did not know nor respect the Lord. And the custom of the priest with the sacrifices of the people. When any man was offering a sacrifice, the priest, servant, would come while the meat was boiling with a three-pronged meat fork in his hand. Then he would thrust it into the pan or the kettle or the cauldron or the pot. Everything that the fork brought up, the priest would take for himself. This is what they did in Shiloh to all the sacrifices of the Israelites who came there. Now I'm going to read that over in the Amplified. The Amplified doesn't really add a whole lot to, but it does do a little bit of difference in translation. Now the sons of Eli were useless men, and they did not know the Lord. And this was the custom of the priests at the pe with the people when anyone was offering sacrifice, the priest, servant, would come while the meat was cooking with a three-pronged fork in the hand and would thrust it into the pan or the kettle or the cauldron or the pot. Everything the fork brought up, the priest would take for himself. They did so in Shiloh to all the Israelites who came there. Now here's the, here's the thing. Eli is the high priest. Eli is the is the priest that had the encounter with Hannah, uh, where he thought she was she was drunk because the Bible says that her mouth was moving, but there was no words coming out of her mouth. Eli was the one who said, "Go home and may the Lord grant you what you're asking Him for." And this is where Samuel came into the picture. He, Hannah became pregnant. She ha had. Uh, Samuel, she weaned Samuel, and now she has brought him back to the temple where the Eli can bring him up as, as a minister, as a priest to the Lord. And Samuel, as we know, becomes a, a prophet to the Lord. Well, here we find that the sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, are worthless. They, they are, are not taking the job that they have been given as priest to the temple seriously they they the the tradition was that one of the priests would bring a three prong three prong fork and while they they were making the sacrifice while they were boiling the meat they could stick the fork in and whatever they brought out, whether it was little or, or a lot or a, or a very small amount, whatever they brought out was what they were take, they would take and eat for themselves. The rest of it was discarded. So here we, we see that it was a, it, it was a custom, but the, the focal point of what we're talking about here is that the sons of Eli, the high priest, Hophni and Phinehas, were worthless, dishonorable, unprincipled men, and they did not know or respect the Lord. We, you, we just can't have people doing things the way they want to do them. God has a plan for each one of us. God has a plan and purpose for each one of our lives. God has had a plan for Israel and as long as Israel focused their attention and their 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 love and their uh, uh, their attitudes, whatever, towards God, they were blessed. When they were obedient towards God, they were blessed. When they were disobedient, they were cursed. God wants to bring blessings into our lives. God doesn't want us to walk in, diso in obedience towards Him out of obligation, but He wants us to walk in obedience towards Him out of our trust 
that he knows what's best for our lives out of our trust that he can take care of every situation out of trust that he will guide us into the perfect way and that we will be blessed by his hand. This story is going to continue to unfold here. We're going to see a lot more about Hophni and Phinehas. We're going to cover that in, in later episodes. Hope you'll hang with me. God bless you guys. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We praise you. We exalt you. We lift up your name. And Father, I pray for every person that's watching this video. I pray, Father, that you will bless them. If there's a health issue, I pray, Father, that you will put your healing hand upon them. I pray that if there's a financial issue, Father, that you will you will put your provi providing hand upon their lives. <coughs> and that you will grant them peace, joy, love in your name. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I hope you'll hang with me and I hope you'll continue to follow me here on the daily ride. And I hope you will keep riding.